Former Maryville standout Brooklyn Holtman has had a productive day for Central Missouri here at the Drake Relays. Uh, Brooklyn, you know, four by four gets into the final. Sprint medley finishes, I think, third. Thoughts on the day? Um, I had a really fun day. I was a little bit disappointed in the four by one because we didn't quite make it as far as we wanted to. But other than that, I just had a fun day to compete. I'm not upset about anything. I'm pretty happy with all my splits. So good day. Uh, the four by four, I think you guys ran out of, I don't remember, it was second or third heat, and then you had to kind of sweat it out to see if you made the finals or not. Yeah. Take us through that relay. Um, I felt pretty underprepared for that relay. I couldn't really get in the right mindset, but I took the baton and then I just did what I know how to do and I ended up running a decent split. And then, yeah, we just sat there, refreshed it, and ended up just tying with the very last qualifier, so that was exciting. And thoughts on the sprint, Mad? Um, that was really exciting. That was a last second thing that we decided to do. So about two hours before the sprint med, they put me in it, and I was really excited, and it was a good team, a lot of good girls that know how to run, so that was a good one. Speak to your role uh, there at Central Missouri. Now as a sophomore, you're probably a little acclimated. Uh, speak to that. Um, I love Central Missouri. Uh, we have a lot of seniors who are heading out, so I'm going to have to step up and kind of take that role. But um, other than that, I mean, I love it. The team dynamic's really good. Um, I, my times keep dropping. Everything's just working out perfectly there. So, imagine you feel like you've grown a lot from the time you left Maryville to where you are now. Uh, yeah, I've grown an insane amount. The times that I now run are something that in high school I never could have imagined even coming near. Looking ahead, what's the rest of the year look like for you? I know obviously you got the four by four finals tomorrow, but the rest of the season, what does that look like? Um, the rest of the season, trying to get that four by one qualified to nationals, um, and then. Heading off to Emporia to run the 200 at Nationals. I'll Syracuse alum Lauren Meyer uh, participating in the triple jump here today at the Drake Relays for South Dakota. Fifth place finish. Uh, Lauren, I know it's been a really weird day with the weather, but overall, your thoughts and takeaways on your performance? Um, I honestly didn't think it went too bad. It was kind of hard to take two triple jumps and then, you know, have the rain delay and then come back. But honestly, my body felt good today. And as a senior, only with a few track meets left, I was like, got to take advantage of these opportunities. So it was good. Yeah, obviously unique where, you know, the event starts and then it, it rains and we have lightning and a long delay and then you have to go back out there. How did you try to handle that? Um, I just, I mean, I just tried to stay patient and try to re-warm back up. And honestly, it was we we're all in the same position, all the girls. So we were kind of having a lot of fun down there. Everyone was chatting and kind of warming up and just taking their time. The, the workers were very, very accommodating for us. So it was nice. Talk about your jumps today. What, what were you able to do well? Um, I think the wind was actually kind of nice. With the rain stopping, it kind of helped too. Um, I think the main thing for me was bringing speed down the runway. So we definitely did that today. I need to be bouncier in my jump, um, so that's what we need to keep working on. You mentioned down to the final couple weeks. Uh, yeah. I mean, first of all, tell us a little bit about how the outdoor season's gone for you so far. Uh, the outdoor season has been great. I really had to stay patient. Um, started a little rocky here and there, but uh, the last home meet we had, I had a big PR, so hoping to kind of build off of that PR, and we have conference in a few weeks. so. Yeah, looking ahead, uh, you know, what, what does the next couple of weeks look like for you? Uh, we have a home meet here coming up, and then conference is literally right around the corner the next week, so we're getting towards the end here. Hopefully I get a good jump in and make regionals. And, of course, your sister's been tearing it up this <laughs> year. What, what has that been like to watch from afar? Oh, my goodness. She is such a little stud. I'm so proud of her. Um, I wish I could make it to more of her track meets, but, yeah, she – she has a lot of potential and it's been fun watching her grow into a little track athlete and she's got height on me so I think she'll do great with triple and the 800 at state so I'm excited to watch her too. You mentioned you know down to the last couple weeks of track I mean you've put a lot of time in this sport over the years How, how's that feel? You know it's kind of bittersweet I've been kind of thinking about it this past season but not in a bad way I've just kind of been you know trying to stay stay present and really just take it all in because I love track so much and I always thought about taking a fifth year, but I think it's going to be just as hard um, if I came back last year and did it again. So just kind of taking it all in these last few weeks, hoping to make regionals. And then, yeah, everyone has to stop at some point. So. Absolutely. Hey, Lauren, thanks a lot. Good job today. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lauren. Yep. Worth County alum Meredith Spires with a strong showing in the throwing events for North Dakota State today. Uh, Meredith, I know the conditions have been kind of interesting today, but you made the most of it. Overall, thoughts and takeaways? 
I'm very happy with how Discus went today. Pulled out a nice PR in the sixth round, moved up on the NSU all-time list, so very happy about that. Not as, good, not as good of a showing in shot put today, but with the weather conditions, still really happy with how it went. You mentioned the discus was a really good showing. You finished fifth, uh, you PR. What went into the success that you had? Um, definitely just keeping the mentality that it only takes one throw to move up, and yeah. Going on four years now at, at yeah. North Dakota State, right? Uh, I'm sure you feel like you've, th you've grown a lot as a thrower since then. What is your time at NDSU? What has that been like? My time at NDSU has been awesome. Um, like Worth County, they have a small town um, vibe to Fargo that loves their college sports and athletics. People show up to all the events, which is awesome. Um, it's been great. I cannot imagine myself competing anywhere else. The leap, though, to go from you know Missouri Class 1 to the Summit League, which is really, really good in, in track and field, how, how challenging was that to take on? Definitely challenging. Um, I'm actually on my third coaching change, so there have been some bumps in the road there, but all three have been great coaches. And just believing in your training is how you're going to achieve. Uh, I mean, what does the future hold? What's kind of next for you? Um, I am taking my fifth year at NDSU. Um, I'm currently wrapping up a master's in criminal justice there as well. And next year I'll just pick up a minor probably and another major, so that's about it. With the season, uh, you know, what's left for you and what are the goals and expectations for the rest of the season? Um, we have the tune-up next weekend, and then after that, we have a our summer league conference meet in St. Paul, Minnesota. So, hoping for some big marks there, and hopefully catching a regional mark this year. Awesome, Meredith. Thanks for the time today, and best of luck. Absolutely, thank you. Go. Trainer alum Clara Taglin running for Air Force today at 400 hurdles. Uh, Clara, I know you're probably still getting acclimated back into the track and field season, but a, a good showing today. Overall, your thoughts? Yeah, it went pretty well. Um, just getting back out here on the track is really nice, um, especially after basketball season. Just trying to get back in shape, get out here, represent as much as I can. Last time you were here, you were rewriting the you know the two A record books. Uh, I mean, what did it mean to be back to you? Um, it means everything, honestly. Drake, it's my home. I I love Iowa, so it means the world to have supporters all around the track, and honestly. Just have to get back into that track shape that I was in before. That'll take time. Didn't know until earlier this week that you had, you know, decided to give, you know, get back into track and field after basketball. Talk about that decision. So about last year around the time of the Drake relays, um, the track coaches were, or the Air Force coaches were, running a SMR here, and they saw me run the 400 and 100 hurdles, and were talking to me, started talking to me to, be, to me about doing track and basketball. I wasn't totally open to it at the beginning, but as I was here, I was like, I may as well give it a shot. Like I do love track and I do love to keep motivated. So I just decided to do both. When your track season ended last year, I mean, it was a phenomenal year for you. Did you have an idea that there would be more track ahead or at the time was that it for you? Honestly, my high school coach, Tony Like, always said like, if you have never, um, you're not like a great hurdler if you've never fallen over a hurdle and I honestly had never fallen over a hurdle when I was in high school so I was like this might be a sign so um, probably the first week of my Air Force practice I did fall over a hurdle so I don't know I just took his advice and I knew that wasn't gonna be the last time I ran around a track how do you feel the season's gone for you so far I've only had about three meets I've been in in season for about a month three weeks to a month so I don't know I'm just looking to improve and continue to perform uh, the leap from high school to a high level of, of college what has that been like it's a lot honestly um, the athletes so much better the time so much better so it's definitely hard but I'll keep working what does the rest of the year look like for you um, we have 25 days until the conference meet and then past the conference meet, I guess we'll just have to keep seeing if I will stay in basketball or I'll do um, winter track to get in better shape and keep getting better times. So I'm just taking day by day and seeing how my, what my future holds. Awesome, Clara. Best luck going forward. Thank you so much.